Hello, my young friends. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you had a wonderful Christmas day. I hope you were able to spend time with your families and talk about the birth of the baby Jesus. I still have my Christmas tree up, and I'm still enjoying the Christmas season. In the past few weeks, you have learned about Mary and Joseph, the angels, the shepherds, and the stable animals, and how they were an important part of the birth of Jesus. Now, I have a question. How many of you think it's important to write something down? Well, I think it's important because sometimes we forget things, and if we write them down, we may not forget things. I'm sure that your mothers write down a grocery list of things they need to buy. And I'm sure your fathers write down a list of chores, of things that need to be done around the house. And even the Bible is a book written with all kinds of stories about God and Jesus and all the wonderful people and things that happened. It's a book we can use to learn from, to read, to study, and to know God and Jesus better. Well, I decided today that I was going to write down the story that I'm going to tell you about the three wise men so that I don't forget any of the details. Today, I want to talk to you about the three wise men who visited Jesus. They were also called Magi. They were very smart men, and their names were Caspar, Balthazar, and Malchior. But we will just call them the three wise men. Although the wise men lived a long way from Bethlehem, they learned about the birth of the baby Jesus and wanted to visit and worship him too. While traveling to see Jesus, they stopped in the city of Jerusalem. It just so happened that King Herod lived there, and he asked the wise men about Jesus. He wanted the wise men to find out where Mary and Joseph and the baby were living and report back to him. He said he wanted to worship the baby too. Well, Herod was not a nice man at all, and his plan was, was to kill baby Jesus because he was jealous of him. You see, Jesus was the long expected and awaited son of God, and his birth was something that even the prophets in the Old Testament talked about. Herod did not want to give up his power as king. The wise men went on to Bethlehem and found the baby Jesus. They brought him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and they bowed down to worship him because they knew he was the Son of God, the Messiah, the King of Kings. One night, while the wise men were still in Bethlehem, an angel came to them in a dream and told them not to go back to Jeru Jerusalem because King Herod wanted to hurt or even kill baby Jesus. The wise men checked their GPS and found another way home. The baby Jesus was safe, and the wise men were heroes. That's a wonderful story. So now we've learned about the wise men and the part they played in the birth of the baby Jesus. They were heroes because they were able to keep baby Jesus safe. Okay, boys and girls, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for the wise men who kept the baby Jesus safe. Thank you for the gift of your son and help us to keep Christmas in our hearts all year. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you have a good week. Remember to stay safe, listen to your parents, and brush your teeth. See you soon. I love you all.